We're just 10 days away now from the sturgeon spearing season, and it seems interest is at an all-time high. NBC 26's Eric Crest is live at 6 to break down what we can expect out on the ice. Eric? Now the DNR says they've already sold a record number of sturgeon spearing licenses, 13,000 of them. And despite concerns over the ice conditions, the event is expected to draw more than 20,000 people to take in the tradition. The sturgeon spearing season in Oshkosh, simply put, is a big deal. This is the rite of passage around here. This is kind of in the culture around this area. The spearing has been good, and it's only getting better the last several years. And everybody knows there's a few 200 pounders out there. So much so, the DNR decided to let an extra 100 fish be harvested this season. We're seeing a much higher uh, percentage of 70 plus inch females in the population than we ever have. So how safe is the ice? Well, it's never 100% safe, but in many spots as of Tuesday, it's thicker than the recommended 12 inches needed to drive on it. The ice conditions right now are 14 to 18 inches ice. But the really exciting news, if you can handle the ever-changing ice conditions is, bring it in. The DNR says there's monster sturgeon out there. Last year, we actually had 106 fish that were harvested that were in excess of 100 pounds. And that's the highest number of 100 plus pound fish we've ever seen in the harvest. So as the spearing preseason starts to set in, keep your cool. And remember, no fish, despite how big it is, is worth going on unsafe ice for. Now a total of 1,800 sturgeon are expected to be speared in as little as six days or as many as 16. According to the DNR, if you're one of the 13,000 who bought a license, good luck out there. Eric Crest, NBC 26. Thanks, Eric. Still